Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the PlayStation Portal. We'll, uh, we'll do a quick unboxing, go through the specs, see what it looks like, play some games, and then I'll have some final thoughts. Okay? Let's get going. Okay, let's get this thing out of the box. I did get it at uh, at uh, EB Games, GameStop, $269 at um, up in Canada, so in Alberta. <clears throat> Hard to get, you gotta really watch their website to see when they're in stock and out of stock. They do that really quick. Let's uh, open it up and see what it's like. really heavy duty box I have had this thing out and played it for about a week and a half two weeks now <clears throat> there's a screen protector on it box is pretty hefty came with a really uh, really substantial charging cable wrapped up in here okay so what do we got in the box we got the box we got the PlayStation portable we got a cord. <clears throat> and then uh, basically a really quick manual on how to use it. Okay? Just like a lot of the PlayStation stuff, it's just on like newspaper type paper. Gives you the basics of what you need to know. <clears throat> okay, so that's that is the unboxing. We'll have a little walk around it and see what it's like. Okay, the specs of the PlayStation Portable. Uh, display is 920 by 8, 1080. Touch, touch screen enabled, 8 inch, 60 hertz LCD screen. Connectivity is USB-C for charging only. 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Uh, PS, PS Link and Wi-Fi 5, not 6, which might be a bit of a drawback. Uh, it weighs 2.6 pounds. 1,088 grams. Dimensions are 14 by 3.88 by 6 inches this way. Uh, Built-in um, lithi uh, lithium-ion battery and it comes with a one-year warranty. I'll probably put those up on the screen so it's easier than just me rambling on. <clears throat> um, from what I've seen, um, high-speed internet connection works really well. And I have I've tethered my phone to my Wi-Fi, and then tethered this to the wife to my to my hotspot, and then it worked fine. Turned on, turned on the turned on the PlayStation, played really nice. So that's uh, have a look around. Okay, so as you would guess, <clears throat> being PlayStation, it it kind of feels just like a PlayStation controller. The joysticks are not replaceable, so a um, little worried about um, drift. But uh, I got a case, so. Not gonna. I'm not gonna worry about it. But um, all the buttons, everything feels just like your, uh, just like just like your PlayStation 5. So you have your D-pad, you have your joystick switcher, push button. You have your 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 buttons. Your two buttons here. You have your PlayStation button. You have your microphone on and off button here. On the top, we have our L1, L2, R1, R2. We have our volume up and down. Two speakers. This is for connecting your, uh, what is it, the lightning headset, which I don't have, and then your power button. On the bottom, we have, if we zoom in here, can we zoom in a little bit? There we go. We have our uh, USB-C, which is just for charging, and then we have our 3.5 uh, millimeter headphone jack. So you don't have to get the expensive uh, headphones that, that uh, they sell. You can just plug in your regular headphones and it is fine. Okay, so let's uh, walk about let's uh, turn it on and see what it looks like okay so let's turn this thing on and see what it does quick turn on okay so unlock you gotta press the pop you gotta press the PS the, the the PS button to open it up so this is what you are greeted with over here you have your your internet you have your battery your time and your settings. In the settings is really not much. We'll click into the settings. We have our disconnect. So when you want to disconnect, you can disconnect and then that lets you put it into safe mode. If you don't disconnect and put your 
and put your, your PS5 into rest mode, you can't turn it back on remotely. If it's not in rest mode, you can't turn it on remotely. So, and my PS5 did just turn on when I turned this on. So kind of cool. And it is ready to connect as you see. It did it all on its own. I didn't have to do anything. It just did it all. Press X to play. We'll get there. So PS Link headset. So when you get the when you if you get the if you get the PS uh, Link headset, it, that's that there and the button up on top. You have your brightness screen here. You see where I keep it somewhere in there. Okay, airplane mode, which basically makes the thing useless. So I haven't really looked into that. But with airplane mode, you're not going to be able to do anything. If, if, if you're turning this on and you need airplane mode, you're, yeah, okay, so airplane, then you have your settings. It's touch screen, very nice. So in network, you have, you have just your network, your NAT type, airplane mode, and your settings for that. Pick, and it's all it sets up really quickly. And then we have our system, which is, it just, it just kind of tells us what everything is. language language date and time power saving okay brightness we all kind of know it i have i have there's blue uh, light bar if i turn that if i go down to that turn that on and i turn that on Okay, so I, I've got the light bar turned on. See, you can see it here, and you can make it brighter. You can make it dimmer. But to save battery power, I just... Uh, I just turned it off. Just to save power, okay? So that's why the battery, that's why that is off. And then we have the controller, which is uh, to save battery power. I've turned the vibration motor off, and then you got your tr trigger and tr in trigger effect intensity, and I have that down to strong. And then the vibration. That's all that is in that menu. And then you sign out. You have your legal notes and your certificate and compliances. So that is all that is in the settings. So you saw how quickly it it connected. So that's. Uh, get onto the PlayStation and see what it's like. Okay, so it's ready to play. I just press X. And there we go. We're onto the PlayStation and it's just like, am I, it did not turn my TV on. So all the games, yeah, you can see everything that I have on here. Hopefully nothing I'm not supposed to show you. But there, okay. And my PlayStation is um, is physically connected to uh, a Wi-Fi booster, not not right to the router, so that makes the connection better. And then this is right now connect. I'm connected to the Wi-Fi booster, so as long as you've got good connection, it plays well. Okay, so let's let's have a look around. Okay, let's have a look at Diablo Four. I'll just show you how it all works. Let's clean the screen off a bit. There's a screen protector on and a hair got underneath it. As you can see, there's an imperfection in it, but I'm gonna... My screen protector came with two, so I'll just run this for as long as I can and then I'll switch it. I, I got a screen protector and I got a case, which I'll show in a bit, all off Amazon. Loads up, everything looks the same. It's around really well. Okay, so all the buttons are the same. You have your triggers. Um, you have your 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 either your belt, I guess, your pouch over here, where you can go across to all of your stuff. It's all there, pretty easy. You got your right along there. You you've got everything in there. It's just like it's just like the game over here. You have your you, you take your snapshots. Um, you have your joysticks, you have your triggers. The one thing that is is a little bit different. Sorry about the white balance. There we go. 
Uh, the one thing that is a little bit different about this is, see there's no center button for the thing, so you just tap on there and it comes up, and you can go to your map. Okay, so you go out of that, I tap over here, same thing, it goes to your map. So those are your two spots for your, your map, okay? So what do we got here? That's, we got a, let's just jump on our horse. So it plays really smoothly. Um, as long as you have a good connection. Okay. Plays really nice. All the, all the buttons are the same, so you don't have to worry about learning new buttons or controllers. Okay, let's take a look at Road Squadron. So, uh, with the Empire eavesdropping on New Republic comms, do you think Teresa Carroll overheard? bit of elder ring.
one thing that I just wanted to show when you want to get when you want to set it down you uh, you get this you hit this you hit the settings button you get your little side thing up here and you want to hit the disconnect right here put uh, put connect put connected PS5 into rest mode you make sure that you have that on because if you disconnect and that is off and it doesn't go into rest mode you won't be able to remotely turn this on so if you happen to be away from the home and you shut it off and you hit that and you try to go back on if it's not on there it won't turn your PlayStation back on so you got to make sure you leave that on before you hit disconnect and then it disconnects and you're uh, ready to shut it off you can um, on top you just hit the hit the power button and it shuts off okay so I played I played what they play I played um, last of us elder ring road squadron uh, 2023 f1 and Diablo 4 I'm not I'm not very good at any of them other than Diablo 4. It's my favorite game. So I just wanted to, to show what it looked like. It plays really, they all play just like they're playing on your TV. I play on a 43 inch um, Fire TV from, from Best Buy and I have no problem buying uh, playing. You can see all the controls. It all reacts well other than my bad playing. It looks good and sounds good. Um, like I said, there is, a, there is a screen cover on this one. Protect the screen. And unless you're going to wrap it in a towel or something when you put it in your knapsack, you got to make sure your joysticks are safe. I have, I got this case off Amazon. And you can see it uh, fits in here quite nicely with the screen protector. Okay. It's nice. The case was $35 Canadian and the screen protector was, I think, 12 and I got two of them. So, um, I'm not too worried about that, but I think if you're going to take this thing like it is, you know, the PlayStation Portal, you take it with you. Um, as long as you have your your PlayStation on rest mode so it can wake up and you have access to a high speed network, um, you can be anywhere and, and connect and play. As long as you've got high speed internet, you, you, you can connect here, it'll turn it on and you can play. So all you need to take is this. You don't need to lug around your PlayStation or anything weird. Um, if you have any trouble connecting, you just have to play with your port forwarding. I have TELUS um, um, fiber, and I didn't have to worry about that. I was able just to go connect to my cell phone, and it played. Turned on the PlayStation, and I played for a good two hours. Didn't drop once. Battery life from full. Um, as you see where I keep the, keep the brightness. I got three or four hours play, no problem, and then a couple hours to charge it. But uh, if you're taking it with you, you know, you're only going to have a certain amount of battery life before you have to start looking to charge it. So uh, taking it with you, make sure you have a case, screen protector, that's up to you. Case is up to you, but if you're taking it with you other than, you know, just sitting on the couch so you can play your game sitting on the couch with your family instead of hiding in your room, you know, playing so you can still be part of the group, um, the PlayStation Portable is really good. Okay, my final thoughts on the PlayStation Portable. Um, handheld in the hand, very comfortable. Buttons, just like a, just like a really good uh, PlayStation 5 controller. Joysticks, same. Moves around. Screen, the 8-inch screen, very nice. Um, the resolution, very nice. Volume, you heard that. So it's it's not bad. It's okay. You can hear everything. It's it's good that way. Um, I think for the money and what you get, I think um, the only decision is between this and the backbone. And again, it's going to come down to dollar and cents, 139 versus 200 and some, depending on where you are, Canada, the States, wherever. But those prices will just convert to wherever they are usually. Um, it's going to come down to dollar cents and what you want. But I think for the money, this 8-inch screen is a no-brainer for me. This will be the this will be the PlayStation carry around that I take. Um, I know I said it'll play anywhere with a high-speed internet. I took it to one location and played it. If I can get on there, I'm assuming I can get on, and I know what assumption is, I'm assuming that if I can get on there, I can get on anywhere. Again, it all depends on your connection and your speed. 
and there'll be some times when you can't, some times when you can, because I did notice when I'm playing some, one time I did have some dropouts, and then the next, then every time after that I didn't. It could have been because the PlayStation was updating, stuff was updating, but after that I haven't had anything. So, final thoughts on the PlayStation Portable. It is a win in my book. Just make sure you do everything to uh, protect it. Get your get your case. Get uh, get your case. Get your screen cover and uh, have fun. Play, 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 play wherever you want to go. Thanks for stopping by, watching my video, and we'll catch you next time.